Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a 360 degrees photo from your GoPro Max. So in this video, I'm going to show you the whole process in which I'm going to download a photo from GoPro Max to my phone, show you how the reframe feature works when editing a 360 degrees photos, and I'm going to quickly edit and export the photo using the GoPro app. So I already selected in advance which photos I'm going to show you as an example for this video. So I'll simply select it and transfer it to my phone. Yeah, and I'm gonna click on transfer. And once this step is finished, I can disconnect my phone from GPS and Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi because I simply don't need it. And now, let's quickly go to the photos that we just downloaded and simply reframe them. Okay, so here's my first photo that I'm going to edit. So I'm going to click on that. And I have to click on this again to enter uh, the reframe process. So the reframe feature on the GoPro Max is simply amazing. Just take a look at this photo. I was riding a motorbike and I got this shot like a month ago and uh, even up till now I can do so much more about this photo. For example, I can uh, zoom in if I want to have a wider perspective or maybe I simply decide to have a tighter shot uh, just good for my social media uh, so there's uh, more focus on me. But if I don't want to share it to my social media, I can simply rotate the whole screen in 16 by 9 aspect ratio and simply decide to have a much wider uh, perspective if I want to. And I simply love the versatility that the reframe feature actually gives you because, because you can use exactly the same photo for different purposes. So currently we have a photo that's taken in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but for the social media we are more interested in a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So we're simply gonna rotate the photo to the desired position that we want, but we can also make some small adjustments. For example, I can use my two fingers to just zoom it in or zoom out. Simply depends what I want. Now, if I want to rotate the, the whole photo, again, I'm using two fingers and I can create a really nice effect if I want to. Of course, I can zoom in if I want to, make some corrections, everything done with two fingers only. In simply, the possibilities are endless. Now, if you don't necessarily want to use your fingers when you are editing your photo, you can use a feature that's called gyroscope. Let's click on the three little dots that are in the top right corner. And let's unclick it. So what we just did it was deselecting the gyroscope. So now we can adjust our angle and frame with simply moving our phone. So if you want to have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or perhaps 9 by 16 for Instagram, you can simply do that with just rotating your phone. However, if you want to simply zoom in and out, you still have to use your fingers, but perhaps it's an easier way to edit a photo for you. I honestly prefer not to use this feature because I simply like the precision I have with my fingers when I'm editing my photos. So for myself, I will enable the gyroscope. So now let's find a proper angle. Notice if I move the camera, for example, to the top, there is a lot of distortion in the horizon, but you can create some nice effect with it. If I move it to the, to the bottom, 
Notice that my whole body is simply distorted, but uh, thanks to that, I can create a small planet effect. If I rotate from the left or to the right, I'll simply uh, move in a 360 degrees motion and simply decide um, what part of the photo I want to select. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it just a little bit, zoom it out, maybe move it in a way so it simply looks like there is some action going on and I think it's simply gonna look good somewhere around that. Alright, so once I'm happy with my photo, let's click on the screen, let's click on this icon in here and we need to confirm which aspect ratio we are going to export this photo to. So I'm gonna click on that and you can select either 16 by 9, 1 by 1 or 4 by 3, but we are going to use 9 by 16 because it's going to be good for social media. And once we are happy with that, let's simply click on save. Okay, so we just exported that photo, so let's come back. And notice that next to our 360 degrees photo, uh, there is a normal regular photo that appeared. So let's click on that and this is our exported photo that we can edit or quickly share to social media. So for example, I want to edit this photo more before I share it. So let's click on that and notice that there is a little pen in here. So let's click on it and from here we can make some small adjustment to our photo. I can select a filter that I'm going to apply to my photo. So let's click on that. And notice that there is a lot of filters to choose from. So it's entirely up to you which one you're going to use. So I'm going to use uh, just randomly this one. And the cool thing about it is that you can actually reduce the amount of filter uh, that you want so it's not going to be so strong or you can go crazy and simply give 100% or, or even more than that if you want to. Normally I don't use filters so I click on reset and come back. Now the reason why I don't use the filters is simply because I want to edit my photos myself. So I'm going to click on adjust. Now if you don't have too much experience with editing your photo, you can simply select an auto and the photo is going to be automatically edited by the software. You can click and hold uh, the photo to see how it looked like before and after. So if you are happy with it, you can select accept or reset. I'm going to click on reset because I want to edit my photo myself. And from here, I'm going to decrease the exposure just a little bit, just by a touch. I'm gonna select contrast and I'm gonna boost that contrast up and see what it does and where is the limit that I can go. So for example, somewhere around here, just like by a tiny bit. Okay. The colors and white balance is pretty nice, so I'm not gonna mess around with uh, the white balance because I really like the way this shot is taken, but I may want to increase the vibrance a little bit. Of course, just by a little bit, not too much, somewhere around like maybe seven, just to give it uh, the more saturation to the photo. And from here, I'm going to actually play with highlights and see what it does. So if I brighten it up, that's not going to look good. But if I decrease the brightness just a little bit, it actually looks good. I can also play with shadows, so I can brighten up the darker parts of the image or darken them up. But I think they are good the way they are, because I really like that photo the way it's taken in the first place. Alright, so I'm really happy with the results that I got from this photo. So let's save it. I'm gonna click on accept. And if still you want to make some small adjustment to your photo, you can click on frame. And for example, if you want to fix that horizon leveling because it's a little bit off, you can quickly fix it. However, because I decided to make this photo in a reframe the way it is, I'm really happy with the results, so I'm not gonna do that. You can also rotate the photo if you want to, flip it, Depends what you want to do with it. And finally, you can fit it to a different aspect ratio. But I'm gonna leave it the way it is, everything's perfect. And once I'm really happy with the result that I got, I can simply select on save and all the changes gonna be saved in the photo. 
Alright, so let me show you a second photo that I prepared for this video. So let me quickly find it. Alright, this photo is in here. So let's click on that. Let's enter the 360 degrees reframe function. And I'm going to edit this photo in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I'm gonna select, um, grab a photo and change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. This way, if I make some small adjustments, obviously I can rotate, zoom in, zoom out, even look for a different angle, perhaps there is something interesting going on. But obviously it's a portrait photo, so I'm gonna focus on just us. And once I'm happy with it, I'll simply click on save. Okay, so the photo has been just exported as a regular standard photo, so we're gonna come back. Come back once again. And notice that the photo just appeared next to a 360 degrees photo. So let's click on that. And from here, once again, I can either edit this photo or directly share it to my social media. So I'm going to share this photo. So I'm gonna click on the arrow icon and I can select either save to phone or share media. So I'm going to save to phone. And now this photo gonna be in my phone gallery and I can share it to Instagram or Facebook, etc.